Member Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, the soldier accused of desertion in Afghanistan, he is now asking President Obama for a pardon. Judge Napolitano is here. Would I be right in saying that it's a very weak legal, just a legal case for desertion, very weak case? There are a lot of problems uh, with this case. Uh, uh, as to the pardon, it, he obviously has the right to ask for it. He filed the paperwork for it. You almost can't blame him for asking for it, given the attitude about this case of President-elect Trump, which is that this guy's a traitor and he should have been charged with treason, for which there is the potential for the death penalty. Instead, he's been charged with a rather low level of desertion. There's two levels of desertion. He was charged with the lower one. There are a lot of legal problems with the case. The general appointed to investigate the case took a year to do recommended against prosecution because of uh, Sergeant Bergdahl's mental uh, issues. And the uh, government found another general to reinvestigate and told him to come up with a, different, with a different opinion. As well, the lawyer in this case has already named one of his defense witnesses. And that is? Barack Obama. In which case the, the president may very well have a strong, right. a strong incentive to grant the pardon Especially, so that he doesn't have to testify. Well, Donald Trump has called him a dirty, rotten traitor. Well, the president so himself was involved in this case. If you'll recall, the president brought Sergeant yeah. Bergdahl's parents to the White House and praised Sergeant Bergdahl long before they had the evidence to support the charge for desertion. So are you expecting a pardon? I don't know. I don't know what the president's attitude is going to be may have one on his desk from Mrs. Clinton. I mean, who knows what he's going to do with pardons. This is the time of the year for them, typically after Christmas and certainly before he leaves offices, when you probably can expect him to do it. President Obama, more pardons than his three predecessors combined. And you expect more, wouldn't you? Uh, I expect a lot more at, oh. in, the, in the last two or three weeks of his presidency. And that's traditionally the time, right up to the last moment, that's yes. when you pardon people. Yes. And it is absolute and total. There's no going back on it. There's nothing else to be done. Correct. You're pardoned. You're Cor gone. Correct. Goodbye. Correct. And there's a myth that by accepting the pardon, you've admitted guilt. You don't have to admit to uh, anything. And if you've been pardoned after conviction, you can answer under oath that you were never convicted. <laughs> that's that's how absolute is the pardon. That's absolute. It, it, it wipes out and changes history. Now, earlier you were mentioning my cufflinks, which happened to be American flag yes, cufflinks. Yes, I was admiring them, as I often admire your sartorial choices. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said that I could only wear these legally because of the flag burning case against yes. the, uh, to the Supreme Court. Yeah, I know, I know that that sounds incongruous, but the flag burning opinion, which said burning the flag is protected speech, liberated other uses of the flag, which had been prohibited before the flag So before opinion. that decision, I could not wear these legally. Right, nor could you wear a t-shirt that said, burn this with a flag on it. Uh, nor could you carry the flag in some unorthodox manner, including on your lapel. Right. So you see, there are good and happy and patriotic outcomes from that flag burning decision. Okay, well. okay, okay. Right. We didn't use the buzzer on you, surprise, surprise. Okay. Napolitano, you're all right, we'll see you again soon. In the next hour, I believe.